G'day guys, welcome to the third match between Team North and 5TA. The first two games have reset because it's the first to win two in a series of two. And now we're back at, uh, I guess, the, a new slate to see who will uh, win the first game. Uh, fifth game though, it will be a decider, capped at the fifth game. So Team North have gone uh, Soviets with Thompson and Mr. Pringles as USA and Koenigs Tiger Germany and Tedessa Italy and an interesting opening from Team North both of them going elite marksman squad getting into the position first and will be able to shoot up and prevent 5TA from getting into the position elite marksman from Koenigs Tiger as well was a bit slow to start and they've lost a few and have uh, yeah pretty much uh, been shot up pretty hard by the Rangers and this one flank from Pringles gonna potentially take out a few no that's uh now we'll Pressure the back point, but in the meantime, Kunigsteiger is taking advantage of the flanks. He's taking out the one guy trying to cap the point from Team North, and he's capping the western flank. And Tedessa also sending his regular squad. Interesting choice from Italy. The regulars are cheap, but not that great. It will be able to pressure the, the spawn flag of Team North if he wants to. But this could be um, a very not good opportunity and yeah, they've definitely taken the opportunity they've noticed that team north have sent the two or the, their main force pretty much the whole force in the center to guarantee the cap but at the expense of the flanks but well, yeah very smart to take advantage of that very quickly reinforcements coming of an assault squad kind for pringles gonna take back the western quite easily but we'll give 5 a uh, bit of a lead at the start but at the same time, Thompson and Pringles have pushed up some of the elite marksmen to a position where they can fire onto the spawn flag of 5T8. Elite MG buy from Koenigsteiger will try to prevent that though. Versus elite marksmen, I dare say the MG will eventually get picked off, but not if it has support. Uh, not much support around to divert the fire away, but they're in an awkward position, uh, these elite marksmen. Not in the right cover for the MG, but a flanky for Pringles with the Assault Squad. We will mow down this expensive elite MG and has taken it out. Decent flank indeed, and will pressure onto the point even more. And potentially cap 5 spawn flag Assault Squad from Koenigs Tiger trying to take that back. And still the elite marksman proving to be a nice wall. Strong wall in the center. We've got a oh, BMW bike. Definitely that sounds so prestige, doesn't it? It's a lowly 60M, 70M retake has been decrewed, or has been destroyed, but cannot move its engine, it must be destroyed, and, and there's elite marksmen, so accurate, and definitely, well, oh, definitely was uh, doomed to fail, <laughs> charging in that way. Uh, Scotty, 20mm out from Italy, Italy, from Tedessa, that should be what they need to pick off the elite marksmen who, uh, yeah, slowly, slowly winning the engagement. Forcing to des to pin get pinned down, but uh, still holding on to the spawn flag of Team North. Shock infantry from Thompson. One specials out. What do they get? Do they get the snipers? Yep, looks like uh, they've gone the sniper. Both of them have gone sniper. Twenty millimeter now in position. Sniper can pick off the troops and also provide some scope line of sight for the twenty millimeter. And now Team North will have to start to prone and give up some of the domination in the center point line of sight from Tedessa coming up but here it goes the uh take back of this spawn flag perhaps got a decent position right here with another regular squad from mr pringles gonna take out some of these guys in the open sniper though on the field <laughs> the ball of haze blocking the mg from being sniper and forced to retreat perhaps or maybe trying to go for a flank going to the back of the stone wall, falling back to that uh, position. Counter but wow, early Sherman from Pringles. This is we've seen this in Pringles time and time again in these 2v2 matchups. Going as Sherman M4A4 as Commonwealth, and now as USA uh, banking for it to counter the 20 millimeter. Misses the first shot. Uh, not too much line of sight in front. I'm not sure if you can see it uh, much. Uh, Nice shot though, puts it away in the second shot. Direct hit. There's an awkward shot too, you can see there's a bit of a decline. A little bit hard to hit. 
back point, being capped by Koenigsteiger. Thompson with his T60 should go well with the Sherman, and that bank will, yeah, will pretty much uh, consolidate their lead for now. And with the T60, they're gonna be able to push onto the points, take the spawn flag center. The 5T has sneaky capped at the center point and has got themselves a decent lead of eight points so far. And capping their back flag back, but let's see what this T60 push can do with the shock inventory. So this map is called Snow Heights and it's a new, uh, we haven't seen this map in a tournament for a long time. It was taken out, though it's back in. I'm not sure why it was taken, I can't remember there was an issue with it. But it's a very fast paced map as you can see, flags are very close by. There isn't too much cover as well, so it's all going to depend on counter play uh, eventually. It's going to boil down to who can counter units or pressure the side flag at the start. T60 in danger from the 4.7 Kananda. Flame throw from Thompson doing okay. Unfortunately, it's a rock blocking. And oh, Sherman takes the side shot on it. And let's see if we can take another one before the T60 dies. D cruise again. Flamethrower coming into support. And unfortunately, not hitting too much yet. Yep, has uh, taken out the guys going to cap that. Thompson's still pressuring some more. And the cannon, the 4.7, is down. Panzer N. Interesting unit to have on this uh, map, though. Not much cover, can't use the arc to its advantage uh, really to hide behind a hill. Sherman may even be able to face it. Oh, nice hit from that Panzer N though. Now Team North putting the pressure on T60 coming into the spawn flag. Uh, no infantry to follow up though. Still majority of infantry going to 5 t 8 Interesting heavy MG by <laughs> A desperate defense, MG42 being placed at the spawn point. Can't do much about the T60. Comic Stiger also pressuring Western Point though, but uh, it's very short lived. With Marines coming in, supported with the T60 coming to the Western Point. A very fast paced game once again. Um, attacking the flanks as in the first game. These teams are not known for their pressure and uh, aggressive play. But uh, they're proving that they are adaptable and are able to pressure in this uh, this series. It's going to be a team to be wrecked. Both teams are uh, scary to play, in my opinion. Marines coming in, and unfortunately the Brandenburgers... Oh wow, the Brandenburgers are not caught with their pants down. One of them had the grenade open at the right moment. But this one MG has been sniped. It was about to take these guys out with T60. May take a shot. No, Brandenburg is coming in. One of them is actually quite impatient. It's not going to sneak because it's tracked. It doesn't matter. And it's going to go running and walking for the shot. T60 can turn in time. No. Can this tiger with a DC shot? Oh, bounce. Unlucky hits the track that has been already damaged. And he's been taken out. <coughs> Damn it. I wish I could uh, shout more. Casting. I don't know why this cough won't go away. Another shot from Tadet from Konex Tiger has taken out the T60. And that puts an end to that, but 5 cap from Team North has totally turned this around the Sherman T60 play. That early Sherman was so instrumental in that assault, protecting that T60 from getting countered. And also this Panzer N buy, uh, I guess it was a default buy from Tedessa, just it usually buys it all the time, but I'm not sure in this uh, scenario, probably an autopilot. As he's in danger of getting killed by the Sherman, but Sherman Lacking infantry support, forced to back away in fear of the Brandenburgers. <coughs> Thompson, coming into the eastern point. <clears throat> Boom, grenades <laughs> himself. Clumsy Tedessa. And trying again with the Panzerfaust. Recruit, the recruits of the Italians do have Panzerfaust. Oh, bam! Nice explosion of Panzerstrex taking out the Sherman? Oh yeah, the Sherman's been taken over the... Where is it? Um, where's that Sherman? It exploded. There it is. Panzer Shrek from Koenig. I guess taken out. But here's a Karak from Thompson. <clears throat> Just checking out the kill count. You can see it's fairly even. Both teams. Team North uh, slightly having the edge on kills. And definitely on the flag points. As being tracked by the Panzer N. Karak is struggling to penetrate it for some reason. 
It needs to back away a bit more. Perhaps it's out of range. No, it's definitely in range. Just probably lacking the line of sight. Turreted on that Panzer N. Uh, still no counters for the Croc. I guess they're relying on their Bazookas and Brandenburgers at this stage. Pringles. Pressuring the spawn flag once again. Koenigstager doesn't have too much. Only a Pax 38 guarding the back point. Hands to end. <laughs> Turreted and tracked. Dual repair. Still firing on the area where its turret was facing when destroyed. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Moving on to the western now. Take a look at this. Where it's going to go. Where is it going to go? We go to the western. Today's are going to help at Koenigsteiger. In fact, it's going to go to the western. Try cap back his flag. 29-11. to 11. Not looking good at the moment. They can't counter this. Oh, wow. They countered the croc. Sorry, guys. I missed that again. Must have been another... Uh, Panzerfaust or Panzer Shrek. Now opportunity for Tedessa to retake the point. Nice grenade. Recruit squad from Tedessa coming in. It's been this uh, Panzer N's uh, got a few lots of crew ready to go in. T60 for Mr. Pringles. And I think. Uh, where was that 2-2-2? Two to two? Is that 2-2-2 two to two down as well? I missed that again as well. 2-2-2 <clears throat> two to two was felled right there. Must have been from that T-60. But here comes a massive assault from Pringles taking the far western point and flanked the Pack 36. Will he take it? Pick it up perhaps? Perhaps he might pick it up and camp the spawn with it. Uh, one tank commander unseen yet unshot at. Pringles just waltzing away. Pack 36 being crewed again. Oh, that's Mr. Pringles, sorry. Oh, my bad. <clears throat> so he's crewed the Pack 36 and has set up a defensive position on the stone wall, flanking the spawn. Koenigsteiger is now feeling quite boxed in from all sides. He's struggling to take back his spawn flag. The Dessa holds his spawn flag just. 40 to 11, a decent lead. They don't have uh, much coming that can secure another point. Another. This is the charge squad out from Thompson. Panzer N still doing some work. More infantry and a huge sandbag fight from Thompson. But the line has moved on. Tedessa holding quite strong. Wow, look at the SMGs from Tedessa doing its work, taking out multiple units at once. And wow, that's a big slaughter. This this guy right there, 13 kills. And it's just a normal, a normal SMG guy. A normal SMG guy. Jeez. 13 kills, just the charge unfortunately wasn't micro too well and waltz right into the bullets of that SMG. Thompson using this stone wall to flank. Tedessa also using his stone wall to try to flank. Sniper will be able to turn the favor, turn the tide into the favor of 5T8. Another 20mm Scotty, T60 trying to decrew damage the gun. 20mm trying to turret main gun it. Uh, definitely needs to be the victor here as the sniper and MG has been taken out by the T60, definitely a priority target. And I think there's a big dead giveaway with that drop of the ammo, ammo truck. Koenigsteiger struggling to hold the swarm flag now. Flag 38 is been bought. It's defensive measures right now, and that's what they that's what they really need. Classic 20mm defense. And we'll soon turn it to an offense if it can't be counted. So this is still holding on to dear life. Uh, T6, T, uh, sorry, Panda N will be able to pick this uh, N off. And there he goes. So pick this T60 off. Thompson's still pressuring. But I think uh, I think he's got it okay now. And he's got the 4.7 and the 20 millimeter. This is Sherman. What's that? Is it the Fury? Is that, was that for you? No, it's a normal Sherman. <coughs> normal Sherman 76 out now from uh, Mr. Pringles going to the western point. Ooh, he's going to fight the Hetzer. He's got a Hetzer via Koenigsteiger. Three special point Hetzer. Ooh, I'm not sure how that battle goes. I think it's quite even, to be honest. <coughs> 76 does struggle. Mm. Let's take a look. Excuse me, guys. 
Add something. Okay, sorry guys. So, uh, Flak 38. Uh, pushing into the centre now. Koenig's Tiger. Nice flank grenade. Wow. <laughs> what was that? That was a, the 76. 76 is taken out. The calendar. Very cool accuracy. <clears throat> Hands are in. T60, half track. Now pushing on to the western point. Koenigsteiger has managed to take it back. What's going on? I didn't. Sorry, I missed. Uh, did I miss something? All of a sudden, uh, the 5TA guys have totally turned around the western point. That uh, Hetzer hasn't engaged anything yet. I guess the 20 millimeter did its work. Ranger squad from Mr. Pringles. He's pretty much one of the only community players that likes to go half-track elite squads. As he wants the speed. And I can't argue with it, especially since uh, he, he was the number one player for a long time. Half-track coming in, flanking in these troops. Connects Tiger with the Brandenburgers. About to fall. Hets are going to try to target the half-track, which is in a decent position. Just hiding below this hill. Not much exposed. Gonna shoot the haystack perhaps the next one, but hits up and misses again. Proving a bit of an annoyance for Koenigstugger. Maybe the Sherman can make an appearance and flank it. No, Koenigstugger is gonna give up on that one. Uh, still holding the two-point, but Tedessa takes out the 76 with... Oh, the big boy. He loves this one. He's got the same event there, 7050 MP. This is uh, Tedessa's choice. Choice of unit, getting him out of a sticky situation. Takes out the 76. Also, uh, Panzer N has taken out the T60. Panzer N has been quite the T60 killer um, in this series. And now the kill counts are going towards 5DA quite, uh, quite dramatically with those most uh, big kills. 76 down, T60 down. Rangers coming in, but Black is waiting for it. It's the problem. See, Pringles uh, in the last few games uh, having to fight elite infantry with 20 millimeters, which isn't ideal. It's just it's throwing the expensive units to something you can counter them quite easily. But here is uh, the Brent, uh, sorry, Panzer Grenadiers. And try flank in the center. Panzer Grenadiers from. Um, <clears throat> Phoenix Tiger, Ranger, Mr. Pringles, <clears throat> Panzer N, pushing up, feeling a bit more safe, Sniper out from Thompson, Guard Sniper, and now <clears throat> it's a big turnaround you can see, <laughs> there's a, quite a few Axis forces now in decent positions uh, and they've got the 20mm down in position 1 on the center, 80 gun as well. Hetzer on the right, also at the back. This is Tank Destroyer Central right now for Team Axis. We've got the tools to fight tanks. And the other end, we don't have too much. Got this uh, hiding, well, this object's actually been felled. Uh, Western Point, very lightly guarded. I think Pringles is, must be out of money. Overspent, but in the center, the Ranger Squad to 80 grenade on the Hetzer. Oh, <laughs> falls straight into the Marine in the backfield. And that will that will give Team North a bit of a chance now to come back with tank domination. There's really this uh, this sim event at 140 range can get max range by any tank. Or even an AT gun. It's got the lightest of armor, but the biggest of guns. M380 gun from Pringles. ISU. Oh, that's a good buy versus the sim event there. Not mistaken, this has 80 armor? Or was it 100? Wait. Perhaps it was 100. I think it's 100, guys. 
<laughs> so out of um, touch with heavy tanks as in default. You never buy them because they're useless in terms of uh, being worth it. But in the World of War mod, uh, you see it a lot more often because it's priced for the competitive community. I guess you wanted to just fires at. The hell was that? The hell? Are those the the um, Italian light vehicle with the Dodge vehicle? ISU one to two. And try to take out the. Oh, nice shot! Accuracy plus plus. Takes out the Panzer N from. Oh, that was what, 150 range or something. <coughs> Some event they better hide. Not gonna stand a chance. Uh, all uh, he need the the. Team North needs some sort of bait though. I see one to two can fight anything in the field and will be the king of the field I think in tanks. But they need the 20 millimeters to bait the other units to try attack it. That's definitely what they need right now. A T60. Too bad uh, USA actually doesn't have 20 millimeters to, to help with that. Pringles is forced to camp his forms like at this stage. Mm, not too powerful. Not. In too powerful position holding that flag, Koenig Stoker, but will be once the flag gets on further up into a better position. Uh, still no considerable strength uh, strength of infantry killing force on the Allied side at the moment. Just a lot of riflemen from the charge. Don't think they'll be able to attack, especially 20mm on that hill. It's going to rip them to shreds. IC-122 is going to go for a shot. Look at how many guys are being felled. Need to be counted quickly, and they need their own 20 millimeter infantry killer. <coughs> I see one to two. Oh, it's been so accurate and so good, hasn't it? Just needs to be supported. He's a T60 as needed. And what happened here? T60 will come out. The problem is though, there's 80 guns. There is 80 guns and. Uh, hang on, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, there is 80 guns lying in wait. I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't think... 5 TA will risk sending the Semivente tank destroyer up to take it to T60. Instead get the AT gun to do the work. And AT guns like, like this aren't... That's acceptable to be killed by the IC-1-2 and if it does, it doesn't matter. Uh, is decrewing it quite well, so T60 can play. ICU 1 to 2 can have a nice shot on that decrewed thing. Decrewed AT gun. It's in the awkward position. Semivente might even try it actually. And it does! Puts it away and runs back. Pass before the ICU 1 to 2 can respond. And it's trying to. No, it's not going to bother. It's going to go for that AT gun still. And it's not damaged at the moment and will be able to be crewed again. Center point going to Team North. A little bit of pressure and Pringles has managed to cap his flag back. T uh, Thompson also trying to assault back to take his one flag back. But a considerable lead still, 77 to 42 in Team North's favor, but 5TA looking stronger on the kill count by 80 points. And positional wise, nice shot. I see 1522, great buy so far, and will be an asset to take out or to prevent the Simaventa doing too much damage. Simaventa coming in a bit too close. What is it doing? It's playing a suicidal shot. I see 1 to 2 can turn around and just whack it. Wow, this is the. This is the. Um, oh, nice! It's tracked it! That's the veteran Simaventa. That's why it's firing so fast. I see 1 to 2 can't respond. It's gonna move away and maybe take it from the side. That was a risky play from the desk and, it, and he pulled it off. And we'll try, maybe come over here and take a side shot at the IC-152. Won't bother, we'll just go a bit more to the side. Just out of the grasp of the turret so it can't turn too much. Stuart, could it go for a crazy, that's no way. This The, the reload speed of this tank is too fast for the Stuart to do that. Ah, oh, slow down by the tree and gets knocked out. Mr. Fringles, unfortunately, can't face that uh, fast reload tank destroyer like that. IC-152 was a perfect counter for it in my opinion, just got tracked. And Tiger has taken the point back, 
from Pringles with some elite kinds of grenadiers. MG42 now in position. It's going to be tough for Pringles to take it back for sure. 79 to 45. It's struggling to, to do any damage. It has been smoked though from Team North. Blocking the line of sight so it can get repaired without being shot at. Nice play. Very nice play from Thompson. Kananda moving up. Koenig's Tiger capping the center. And just one flag being held by Team North now. ISU 1522. 122. Their moneymaker. Definitely needs to get back into action. Take out that Kananda. And prevent that some event they're coming up once again. Fortunately, they don't have any cheap anti infantry kill. The cheapest one they have is a T60, I think. Could go a Maxim, perhaps. Might be okay. But otherwise, um, that is it. So, let's take a look. IC 152 has been repaired, I believe. And should uh, focus on that. Canada 20 mil. This is the first shot. Well, nearly collateral damage. Misses the can <laughs> he took that out with the HE shell. It would have killed it if it hit. Try to take another shot. Takes it out. It's brilliant this gun, isn't it? I uh, yeah, I haven't seen it been played in a tournament before and it's proven to be great. IC one twenty two needs to take out the Simavente. Needs to really need some officers or some recon infantry, that's pretty much it. Just to prevent the Yeah, get some line of sight in the Simavente. And then you can go T60 mad. Pringles has managed to take back the point from Koenig Steiger. He's going to punish him though for it. And finally we'll take the last infantry remaining. Half track repaired from Koenig Steiger now is going to do some work on Pringles unfortunately. On a, yeah that is a repaired one. It's a USA one in the hands of Germany. Brandenburger. Oh. Tedessa, uh, awkward. Gonna sneak around here. You can see these guys. Gonna sneak around here. The classic Brandenburger sneak. See it go. IC152 is definitely uh, being spotted by it as well for the Simavente to do a sneak shot if needed. And now Koenig's Tiger will try to get this flag back. It's got the support. Oh, IC152. Oh, such a linchpin <laughs> in the Allied. The Allied Army in this uh, second half of the game is taking out the half track. 79 to 59. Uh, but definitely not holding this back flag strong. Brandenburger can go. He's got a clear, clear path. Just one guy. Where is it? One guy here. Where is he? See a red dot? There it is. One guy uh, somewhere there in the map. There he is. But it's clear path right now. I'm not going to care about anything else at the moment. It doesn't matter. As this is the this is the moment that will change the entire game. This is the kick in the testicles for Team North. This is when they're going to be rolling down, withering in pain, from the steel cap boot of Tedessa. Panzerfaust right in the back. Bent over right now. Thompson is oblivious to this Panzerfaust. And let's take a look at this game changer and we'll put the 5TA potentially in the lead in this first to win two series of two in a row. Let's take a look. Tedessa taking his. He's actually standing. Why did he stand for? It doesn't matter. He puts away the IC152. He's going to come in for the kill on the tanker and then potentially get the dynamite from there to put it away for good. Takes out one early and will struggle now to pick up the Dunno with the pistol. Nagant will take him out most likely. Yes. So still repairable, but they don't have time. 69 to 79 at the moment. And they've lost their only thing that can uh, kill <laughs> kill the tanks right now. And those expensive. Lost some event and now more comfortable coming out. Coming out a little bit more. Uh, sniper from Koenigsteiger, doing some good work. Panzergrenadier squad as well. 
and nothing else. And that's a surrender from Team North. Well done to Mr. Well done to Five TA. Takes the first game of uh, sorry the third game, but the first game in the next series of first to win two. GG.